Welcome back to today's video. We'll be review the 1997 romantic drama movie, Titanic. Get ready to remember all the mysterious parts and romantic moments of this unforgettable movie. In the beginning of the movie, a group of treasure hunters and machines dive into the sinking Titanic to find a diamond. They discover various broken objects from the sunken ship, including a box. The treasure hunter is thrilled because they had been searching for this box for a long time. They open the box but find only dirt and a diary inside. The team leader is disappointed, hoping for the diamond. They clean the diary and find an old picture of a stunning girl wearing the diamond necklace. In the following scene, we are introduced to an elderly woman named Rose, who is watching the news at her home. She sees the treasure hunter discussing a painting recovered from the wrecked Titanic. To her surprise, Rose recognizes herself in the painting, as it depicts her younger self. Intrigued, Rose contacts the researcher involved in the expedition and inquires about the diamond from the Titanic. The researcher informs her that they didn't find it and asks if she knows the woman in the picture. Rose replies, revealing that she is the girl in the painting. Upon hearing this revelation, the researcher immediately contacts Rose and invites her to their ship. When Rose arrives at the ship, she is filled with emotions as she gazes at her old picture. The researcher kindly asks Rose to share her recollections of the Titanic and her memories from the past. Rose begins to narrate her life story, one memory at a time, recounting the events that unfolded on the ill-fated voyage of the Titanic. Rose embarked on the Titanic with her future husband. As she stepped foot onto the magnificent ship, she noticed the bustling crowds of people who had gathered to witness its grandeur. While the sight of the ship filled others with a sense of awe and wonder, Rose felt suffocated in this environment. To her, the Titanic was like a dream for everyone else, but for her, it carried a different feeling, one that made her feel trapped and constrained. In the subsequent scene, we see Jack, a young boy, playing cards at a bar. Two other men ended up losing the game, while Jack emerged victorious, winning a third-class ticket to the Titanic. Excited by his unexpected triumph, Jack, accompanied by his friend, boarded the Titanic. The ship was filled with passengers eagerly heading to America, and everyone on board was brimming with joy and excitement. Finally, the ship was released from its moorings, and the Titanic began its journey, slowly gliding across the Nile. Afterwards, the scene transitions to Rose, who looks radiant and beautiful. Meanwhile, the ship's captain is seen instructing a crew member to increase the speed of the Titanic. Subsequently, the focus shifts to Jack and his friend, who are having a great time on the ship. They make their way to a secluded corner of the Titanic, where they delight in watching dolphins swimming in the water and marvel at the breathtaking view of the vast ocean. The atmosphere is filled with joy and awe as they appreciate the beauty surrounding them. Rose has breakfast with her family, including her abusive fiancé. His bad behavior prompts Rose to leave in anger. Meanwhile, the talented painter Jack draw people's images on the Titanic. Then Jack, seeing Rose for the first time, is mesmerized by her beauty. However, Rose's boyfriend intervenes and insists she go inside, interrupting Jack's view. During the evening, Rose and her family are having dinner, but Rose appears visibly depressed. Overwhelmed by her circumstances, she abruptly leaves the table in tears, contemplating suicide. Rose makes her way to the side of the ship, intending to jump. It is at this critical moment that Jack arrives and reaches out his hand to her. Initially resistant, Rose urges Jack to leave. However, Jack makes a bold promise that he will jump with her, ultimately dissuading Rose from taking such drastic action. Rose hesitates, stepping back from the edge. Suddenly, as Rose is about to slip and fall, Jack tightly grabs her hand, urging her to look into his eyes. With Jack's help, Rose is safely guided away from the edge. However, their encounter does not go unnoticed, and ship officers become aware that something has transpired. Rose's future husband Oakley arrives on the scene, and everyone begins to blame Jack. The ship's officers move to arrest Jack, but Rose intervenes, accepting responsibility for the situation. Hearing Rose's defense, Jack is released. Rose's boyfriend, witnessing this turn of events, becomes pleased and extends an invitation to Jack for dinner the following day. In the subsequent scene, Rose finds herself in her room, and Oakley enters with a stunning and expensive diamond necklace. He adorns Rose's neck with the necklace, capturing her attention with its beauty. Meanwhile, Jack prepares for dinner, dressed impeccably, which leads others to mistake him for a wealthy first-class passenger. Unfamiliar with the etiquette of the upper class, 
Jack attempts to blend in, observing others and walking with poise. Rose joins the gathering, radiating beauty. The two engage in conversation, and the dinner commences shortly thereafter. After the meal, Jack escorts Rose to the third-class passenger cabin. Despite being from a wealthy family and a first-class passenger herself, Rose finds joy in the lively atmosphere of the poorer cabin, filled with dancing, singing, and celebration. However, one issue arises as Rose's future husband's manager catches sight of her presence. The following morning, Rose's future husband becomes furious and yells at her upon learning that she had danced with Jack. Adding to her distress, Rose's mother also scolds her. In the subsequent scene, Jack manages to meet Rose in secret. Initially, Rose insists that he leave, but her reluctance fades, and they meet again. Jack takes hold of Rose's hand and guides her to the edge of the ship. He instructs her to close her eyes, and then tells her to open them. As Rose opens her eyes, she is greeted with the breathtaking sight of the sea from the ship's edge. Both Rose and Jack find themselves overwhelmed with happiness in that moment. After spending many delightful days together, Rose decides to bring Jack to her room. She expresses her desire for him to paint a portrait of her. It is the very same painting that the researchers later discover on the seabed. Jack begins working on the painting, and the two of them continue to have a joyful and memorable time together. Meanwhile, the ship's captain spots a large iceberg in the middle of the ocean. The ship comes dangerously close to the iceberg, leading the crew in the engine room to frantically work on turning the ship to avoid a collision. Despite their efforts, the ship fails to change course, and water begins to seep into the lower compartments of the vessel. Both Rose and Jack witness the incident and decide to head to Rose's room. However, upon arriving, they find Oakley and other people already present. Oakley reveals that he had given Rose the precious diamond necklace as a gift, but it has gone missing. A search ensues, and the necklace is discovered in Jack's coat. Jack vehemently denies stealing the necklace, but his protests go unheard. The security guard intervenes, arresting Jack and taking him away. In the subsequent scene, tension builds among the ship's staff as the water continues to flood the ship. Concerned individuals inform the ship's captain that they estimate the ship will sink within a couple of hours. As a result, they start deploying the available lifeboats and assisting people in getting into them. Desperate to attract attention and summon help, numerous rockets are fired from the ship into the night sky. Meanwhile, Oakley attempts to guide Rose towards one of the lifeboats, but she suddenly remembers Jack and breaks away from Oakley's grasp. With water levels rising rapidly in the lower chambers of the ship, Rose finds herself in danger of drowning. However, with great effort, she manages to free Jack from the submerged area. The increasing water levels make it difficult for Jack and Rose to find a way to escape. In the meantime, outside the ship, the dire situation unfolds as the Titanic begins to sink beneath the water. Jack and Rose find themselves together, while Oakley continues his search for Rose. Oakley comes to the realization that Rose has no affection for him, but instead deeply loves Jack something he struggles to accept. Eventually, the three of them cross paths on the ship. Oakley implores Rose to board a lifeboat with the other women and children for her safety, but Rose makes a firm decision to stay by Jack's side and not leave the ship. Witnessing the events, Oakley becomes overwhelmed by anger and starts shooting at Jack in a fit of rage. However, Rose and Jack manage to escape from Oakley's clutches, evading the danger posed by his gunfire. As the ship continues to sink, a tragic scene unfolds. Many people find themselves trapped in the lower chambers, unable to reach the surface. Jack valiantly struggles to make his way to the roof of the ship, while others desperate for survival jump into the water from the top, only to meet a tragic fate. The once majestic and grand Titanic gradually splits into two halves. Amidst this chaos, Jack and Rose cling tightly to each other on the edge of the ship, but despite their efforts, they are unable to hold on for long. Eventually, as the ship sinks beneath the waves, both Jack and Rose tragically drown together. After some time, Rose resurfaces and searches desperately for Jack amidst the vast ocean. Finally, she locates him and together they find a piece of wreckage to sit on. The frigid seawater chills Rose to the bone, causing her to shiver uncontrollably. Her body weakens, succumbing to the harsh conditions. Jack encourages her to hold on a little longer, assuring her that help will arrive soon. Rose battles against the cold, her condition deteriorating, while Jack clings to her and struggles to stay afloat in the water. In the subsequent scene, a life-saving boat comes into view. Rose, lying on the wreckage, notices people approaching on the boat. 
Filled with hope, she rises and calls out for Jack. However, to her despair, Jack does not respond. Rose comes to the heartbreaking realization that Jack has succumbed to the bitter cold and perished. Despite her grief, Rose makes a solemn promise to Jack that she will not give up and will remain strong. Determined, she gathers her strength and leaves the wreckage, making her way towards the approaching boat while calling out to the individuals on board for help. In the following scene, it is morning and several survivors have reached the city safely. Various rescue teams have arrived to assist everyone. A police officer approaches Rose and inquires about her name. Rose responds, stating her name as Rose Dawson. This is a significant moment as Rose uses Jack's surname, signifying her connection to him, as her true name was Rose Dwight. In the final scenes of the movie, we return to the present time with the old woman recounting the events of her life. As the movie draws to a close, Rose is shown standing at the edge of the ship, reflecting on the past. In a poignant moment, she holds her old necklace, a symbol of her journey and the enduring love she shared with Jack. This necklace, which the research team had been tirelessly searching for, has been with Rose all along. Finally, Rose releases the necklace into the water, letting it float away, symbolizing the closure of her story. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one. We'll see you in our next video.